Fuck the government. I seem to start every Acapulco with uh, with those words. I, I was going to do a slideshow, but I, I thought, yeah, you, you already know what's going on. If you're here, you already know what's going on. You don't need me to give us you a slideshow with all these slides and tell you all this shit. It's actually kind of difficult to do these talks now because for years I used to come and do these conferences and I'd, I'd warn people about what's coming. <laughs> it's, it's all here now. So, you know, what do you talk about? I mean, I used to come here and talk about the social credit system and, and what they were planning to do with this whole digital smart grid and now it's all here. And what we're seeing at the moment is really the calm before the storm. They seem to be rolling things back. Things seem to be going sort of almost back to normal. Is anyone sort of feeling that? That things are going almost back to normal? You know how they do that, you know, the roller coaster rides? They give you the big one to begin with and then it's sort of calm and then they give you another one and they give it calm again and they give you another one. Then they give you the really fucking big one at the end. And we're heading for the real fucking big one at the end. That's what's going on. Um, and the thing is, like, there's so much pushback, which is really good to see. Like, what the truckers are doing is fantastic. I personally don't think they should be blocking the borders off, though. I think they should be blocking the government buildings off, blocking everything to do with government off, blocking off all the media buildings. That would be a good start. Block off anything that the government's using against the people. We'd keep the supply chain running, because, of course, they're going to use the truckers to blame for the supply chain breakdown, which they've done themselves. And we could see this coming as soon as they set up 14 days to flatten the curve. We've just got to close the borders for 14 days. As soon as Trump said he was going to close the borders in March 2020, I said, here we go, they're going to break down the supply chain. So all this stuff's happened. Even if we were to pull all our governments out of power and we were to replace them with people of integrity or even go to a, a system of anarchy and we were to get things back up and running now, it's still got to run to its natural conclusion the sort of situation that we're in because so many people have lost their businesses now. So much of the economy has been damaged. So many people have had the jab. So much 5G infrastructure is out there. And when you look at what they're doing with the, with the jab, you know, all the nanotech and all the shit they're doing, I mean, it's got to run to its natural course now, regardless of what we do. So we've got to kind of find a way of weathering the storm to come out the other side. There's going to be a lot of people waking up and we can't take a backward step. We can't just cower in, in a little retreat and, and get our supplies and hunker down. We've got to keep pushing, but we've got to be able to see those goalposts and we've got to realise that there's going to be a lot of people fall along the wayside along the way. You're going to see a lot of really bad shit happening over the next few years. Like everybody who's had this jab, their bodies are now compromised, their immune system has now been compromised, all of it. You know, so whatever people's pre-morbidities were, if that was someone who was going to die of cancer when they were 80 or kidney failure when they were 90 you're going to find that they're going to start developing those things a lot earlier and no one's going to trace it back to the jab they had in 2021 you're going to have people dying of all of these seemingly unrelated things because their body is not repairing itself and regenerating itself anymore because that's what this jab has done it's gone and interfered with people's dna and the natural function of your dna so that's, that's what we're going to see over the next few years. So this, this has got to run to its natural course now. But when you look at it, you know, I mean, you can, you can joke about it like Jeff does when he, he gets up there and says, I can't wait for them all to die. You know, when, when, you, really, when you really look at this, I mean, I don't know whether, whether you're religious, whether you're just spiritual, whether you think there's a God or a creator or whether you think you're in a hologram or whatever you think this reality is, but I think there's an intelligent mind behind this reality. I think we're all part of that intelligent mind. Personally, this is just my opinion from stuff that I've looked at over the years. I think we're actually all part of a single consciousness. All simply aspects of that single consciousness. You know, that single consciousness goes through stages of purification. 